My name's Tripp, I'm from the Dirty South, and uh, I've been known to operate a base from time to time, and it's a pleasure to be here to talk about myself and, more importantly, Galling Kruger amplifiers. I am recording, arranging, and producing a singer who was on American Idol right now, and I'm playing with a lot of Zydeco acts in the South, and uh, I'm getting back started doing my solo bass stuff. I do a lot of cyber sessions, and I teach as well via Skype, and um, got my thumb in a lot of different pies, and it, it still goes. My father was a band director, my mom's chorus teacher, and my father plays, played trumpet really well. It was a musical family, and you pretty much pop out of the oven, and they stick something in your hands to play. They thought I was going to be a French horn player because I had a pretty mouth. It's true. But um, when I was in eighth grade, um, I would realized I was a failure as a saxophone player. And uh, I'd done something good for my report card, and I had the option of getting a stereo or a go-kart. And I chose the stereo, so finally I could hear bass. And I heard uh, Paul McCartney's Silly Love Songs, right? And the bass just jumped out of the speakers and bit me. So that was uh, April 1982 that I started playing. My first bass was a, it was basically a coffee table with strings, but I didn't care, I was, I was ready to go. It's an interesting existence when you wake up every morning and you're doing what you want to do. And not too many people in the world get to say that. And I'm always in a different situation with a lot of different players, and so it's always challenging and it's always fun. And so that's magic. That's magic, especially in this day and age. It's actually more competitive now than it ever was. So what sets you apart? That's the challenge now. I bought a GK 400 RB when they were still made in Campbell, California in 1991. And I went out to a NAM show and I heard the gear and I met Bob and the gang in 1998. And I was just blown away by what they were doing because it was the, uh, the new series of amps then. And I was, and it was, it kept up with me. The other rigs I'd been using were slow and sluggish, you know, and I was like going, look, this, the amp world is moving at the speed of the Tripster. This is good. And I was just pleased as punch, you know. I choose GK because ease of transport, but more importantly, it gives me the sound that I want on stage, when I want it, how I want it, and I don't have to s struggle around to, to move it when the, when the drummer goes, dude, can you give me about another two feet, man? myself and Galling Kruger Amplifiers, we hope to see you out there soon.